I am really emotional right now enough to share something inside my heart. I was literally just working out in my gym and I got hit with this immense feeling of emotion so much that I just dropped the weights and I, and I walked out. I came out to this alley. It smells like piss. It's quiet. It's dark. But there's something that I have to tell you. You see, 10 years ago, I lived a really shitty life. I mean, I was overweight. I was depressed. I was insecure. And I was hiding behind a mask. I was not living my truth. You can never imagine making a video like this to you. I literally stuttered for the first 20 years of my life. And I was self-medicating myself, drinking every weekend to black out, doing all different types of drugs, snorting, doing all types of shit that was self-destructive. I was doing steroids. I was living behind this external facade. Deep down inside, I was very insecure. I was in a lot of pain. And in 2006, I woke up. I literally had a near-death experience that put me in a coma for seven days. And I remember like it was yesterday, moments before I took my last breath and I was pronounced dead, the doctor said, you're not gonna make it. What did I think about? I thought about the people that I loved, my family, my friends. Did I t express how I felt to them? I was gonna burden them with my death. I was gonna let them down, but also did I share my truth? And that just echoed in my mind over and over and over again. And thankfully, after the coma, the doctors revived me, I flatlined, I came back to life, and I felt like I was given a second chance because if I died that day, I would have died with my truth still in me. Born this day, dead that day, did nothing with his life. So I said, I'm gonna change my life. I'm gonna leave a legacy. I'm gonna change the world. I'm gonna impact lives. So I started educating myself. I got rid of my toxic friends. I started hanging around with people that I respected, that were kind, that were loving, were successful. I quit my nine to five job. I started a business. Over time, I learned skills, I learned sales, I learned marketing. I became a self-made millionaire, right? I became happier. I started serving people at a larger level. I started making videos like this. And none of this is to show off, but just to show you that you could do the same, right? The purpose I'm making this is so you can share your truth. At the end of the day, we're all gonna die, right? And you have a choice, right? You could be a little blip, born this day, dead that day, or you could leave a legacy. You could leave a fucking dent in the universe. Think about your great, great, great grandchildren, right? Do you wanna be remembered as a bad motherfucker that walked this earth, that left a legacy, that made an impact? Think about your grandparents, right? Do you know their name? Great, great, great grandparents go way, way, way back. Do you know where they came from? At the end of the day, we only get one life, right? Unfortunately, I had to go through a near-death experience to come alive and share my truth. And that gave me the appreciation for life. Every single moment, I'm so grateful for it. Every breath I take, every morning I wake up, I'm so blessed and I get to share. And since then, I've just been making videos, sharing my truth, and that's what I want from you. You know, I study death because I nearly died and I've been given a second chance. And you know the number one regret of the dying? That is dying and not sharing what's in their heart, not living their truth. And I don't want that for you, you know? Unfortunately, our great, great, great grandparents did not have the technology and the way of just grabbing a phone and making a video or writing a post and hundreds of people could see it, sharing a message. Because at the end of the day, you have every opportunity in the world. This is the best time to be alive, to share your truth, to live your message. So, you know, <laughs> I was just so compelled to make this video. Like I said, I just literally walked out of my workout and something in my heart just told me I had to share it with you right now, sitting in this piss-stained alley, sharing what's in my heart, just letting it come in the present moment. And what I want you to do is just listen to my words, not from a person that's preaching, but from a person of example, because I want the best for you. Like, I, I don't care if this video gets likes or views, it's not about that. I just want one person to watch it and say to themselves, am, am I living my truth? Am I sharing my message? Am I living my purpose? Because it, it all takes, you, you have <laughs> so much in you, you have such a great gift, you have a way of expressing in, in your heart. And you could just pick up a camera, you could share something, you could have a conversation, it doesn't have to be on the internet, just talk to someone and express what's in your heart. What makes you come alive, 
right? So please, if this message resonates with you, if you watch this video and just, you can take one nugget away, I would appreciate it if you could share it with someone. Share this video, um, send it to someone, because that's all I want, right? And, and that's how I live every single day of my life. If this was the last video that I ever made, if I died tomorrow, I wanna die knowing that I shared what's in my heart and I expressed it. I didn't just continue working out and say, you know, oh, that's a great idea. I came out here and I filmed it and I caught it on camera because I want my great grandchildren to say that my grandpa was a bad motherfucker and he lived his life every single day doing his best sharing his truth. And that is exactly what I want for you.